Well, welcome, one and all, to Bike Racing Without Mercy. And Martin, you are quite correct today. I am feeling very Flandrian in a Zwift this kind of way. I'm very glad though that I didn't do the Grand, uh, sorry, the Grand Fondo Flanders yesterday. My God, it rained all day, just as it did last year. I'm sorry for all of those of you that took part. It is emotional. How are you today, Martin? Good to see you. Niall, how are you? How are you getting on, sir, at the moment? Training. Hello. sure if I'm connected. I'm just looking at the... Very good morning. Please could someone tell me if you can see me, hear me? My OBS, which is a thing that connects all of the computer uh, and the Zwift and me. Uh, yeah, it did freeze. It's okay now. Oh, phew. Thank you very much. Well, very good morning to you, Vidar. Very good morning, Jono, Niall, Martin, Peter. Thank you for joining. Hey Chris, how's it going? You're training for the Mammoth going well? A bit glitchy, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I just changed to a different um, internet connection. We'll see if that works. I've got a, an extension. I've gone to the extension. Ha <laughs> ha, found, found, found. Always with the technical questions. Yeah, I mean, I've, ne I've, I've rode it last time around with the 26s and it'll be the 26s this time around. But what I have got is the tubeless. Uh, set up there, but definitely I'm specking 28s or more on my new bike and I, if, when I get the opportunity to upgrade um, on the video I'll go to the uh, the 28s. They're just better. I understand. Hey guys! The yoghurt cut strip has a knot in it. <laughs> Are we talking about hard knots? Uh, yeah, I've got the inserts as well, the foam inserts. I've had them for quite a while. They do add a bit of weight, but I prefer the reliability. I've seen um, someone who is like a bike mechanic trying to get a tubeless off after a puncture when he was running inner tubes inside him. And my word, I realised I might be able to get it off, but definitely won't be able to get it back on again. It was a battle. Hence the inserts. Phone ones, Victoria. Right, what time is it? Okay. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little bit thrown because of all the technology, but thank you very much for joining. It's appreciated. Have I cut out again? I'm not sure. Oh, is it full gas today? It's always whatever full gas I have now. Always whatever full gas. I'm hoping so. Uh, basically, um, I think this course is it's called the London Pretzel. Um, you go up, I think it's called Fox Hill, which is the other side of Box Hill, and then back the other side of Box Hill, but before that you do a lot of London. An Easter egg after. Um, no, but I've got a secret weapon today. Check it out. Martin Spencer's Jammy Raspberry Soft Buns. I've had my emergency coke already just to wake me up. To be honest, I did a kind of a mini Fred Witten on the Watt Bike Pro. Oh dear me. That was proper difficult. Um, the Watt Bike Pro is an air resistance. I did that on Friday. And the air resistance, somehow, for the same power, it's harder. The Watt Bike Pro also under reads the SEM is about 5 to 8 watts. But dear me. I kind of took exactly the powers that I um, used for the Fred Witten in 21. And um, in the Zwift, the customized trainer setting set up the kind of the powers needed for different parts of all the different climbs. So some parts of like hard knot, you're going full gas, way into anaerobic, other bits you can do um, kind of threshold and in the middle, it's kind of tempo. In a mini Fred was was superb. 
No, thank you, Niall. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was a it was a great ride indoors. I was well out. I didn't think I'd get that far into it first time. <sighs> so, and I was feeling withered. I mean, withered in all kinds of ways. Yesterday, Jane and I went out for a lunch in London, and then we um we saw um a play called Harry Clark. Check it out. Found, found, found. Let me know what you think to Harry Clark. It first showed in uh, New York, but playing now in London. Um, yeah, I mean, there's quite a lot of kind of undulating sections, not so much flat, but definitely, you know, my mini Fred comprised, what did it comprise? It comprised Kirkstone, where I did tempo with 30 second surges, then Honister, which is like a hard first five minutes then into Threshold, Newlands, various different uh, training powers required, but quite a lot of Threshold and VO2 max. Um, then Winlatter, I did it Threshold, Hon uh, uh, Hard Knot, Threshold into VO2 max, into Threshold, into Tempo, into Anaerobic, into Threshold, into Anaerobic, into taper down and then rhinos kind of at a ramp into max effort but to your point so all those climbs hard but also you cannot underestimate the descents um, which are technical and not massively fast well certainly not for me and the uh, the flats as it were because they take a lot of energy and they add for me at least three and a half to four hours to the overall training, so a lot more uh, kilojoules need to be consumed. Oh, you've got an Easter vacation, very nice. Whereabouts are you, Vila? Yes, yeah, so definitely eating is the name of the game for that. Yeah, I mean, it will be, t it'll be tough. Um, I said I'd never do it again after the last time. I love the Lake District, but I found it really hard but somehow I found myself with an invisible hand drawn back to it, so here we go. <laughs> Do not team time trial at full path, at full gas, yeah, the A66 gas, absolutely. Um, it's, I mean, it's easy to think you're going well on something like um, the Fred Witten, but you have to bear in mind that at 140, 145 kilometers in, you have hard knot them rhinos and none of that is trivial. Norway, very nice. Oh my word. Beautiful island. Well, I hope, um, hope you're getting some clear weather, better than they had in Flanders. Right, I better get to the race. Why am I not showing us the race? I did enter it. It says I'm going. Right, what's going on here? Sorry, what on earth is going on here? So if I end this ride, go to OK, save. What's going on here? Four weeks here, yeah, yeah, whatever. Why? Right, it's not giving me. Uh, exit. What? Oh no! Oh no! My OBS is playing up as well. Crikey, what is going on here? I'm sorry, is this, oh dear. Oh no. Oh crikey. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh, I've got to sort the screen out now. Flipping out. This is a uh, not good. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm so sorry. Why is this not working? Rest days are important. Yeah, yeah. I'm not looking for Zwift to be resting right now. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, Sifty Lifty. There we go. Can you see me? Yeah, you can hear me and see me. Right. I've got to get this sized right. It's a bit tricky to size it. Uh, I think I've got to bring that a bit smaller. A bit smaller, a bit smaller, a bit smaller. No signal from the heart rate, obviously. Obviously the heart rate stopped. Why? Why? Why me? Why me, Zwift? Right. So it's coming on. Right, let's see if I can get to it. Come on. Come on, Zwifty, Zwifty. Right. It's starting in 12 seconds, but I think I've got the wrong things connected. Kick a bike. All right, there we go. Okay. Start that right. All right, here we go. Dear me, can you see me? Do, do, oh dear me, I haven't got kind of fans on. Dear me. Oh, not that high. Oh. Oh, I did. Oh, maybe I need to find a different race. I can't be flipping out. I'm so sorry, I just... I don't think I'm even in the event. Oh, I'm not in the event. Oh, crikey, I'm sorry. Have I apologised sufficiently? Right, what comes next? Oh, Zwift Games up the Alp. Don't want to do that. No one wants to go up the Alp again. Oh, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. What has happened here? Um, oh no, Zwift Games up the Alp has started. No, there is a big spin. <coughs> Right, let's see if I can... The big spin is at quarter past. Ah! Right. My apologies. So look, a nice slick live stream there. Nice and slick. So, is anyone still in the chat? Can you... I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you for leaving on a beautiful Easter Sunday. Watching a middle-aged man in a Flanders Lycra muck up the technology. Is no one there? Am I, is the stream still going? I've got no idea. Let me just have a look on my phone. People have quit, understandably. Oh dear. Right, I'll go to my channel. Go to my channel. My videos. Why is my channel? Go to my channel. I am. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. Here we go. All right, let me just turn myself off because you don't want to hear me. Right. All right. Take two. So, the tap, the Tour de France, or the, the tap, the Zwift, it wasn't to be. And I got in my head a couple of hard six minutes effort with a load of tempo. Full gas. It wasn't to be. I did think that opening screen was wrong, but there we go. My intuition said carry on, it'll be all right. And once again, never trust the banker's intuition. I better get rewarmed up. Oh, I need to have a look at the course as well. Um, does anyone know if this course in um, the big spin is difficult? I remember New York. I haven't ridden New York in a long, long time. I remember New York being horrible. Um, just looking here. It's the NYC KOM after party. Right. 
NYC, oh come on. Everything is going wrong. The technology is failing. Jane is not around to save the day. She hasn't left me, she is genuinely out with her friends today. Genuinely. I know this seems to happen every Sunday now, but I promise you, I'm not lying. <laughs> and I hope I'm not. Jane's out having an affair or something. This is her Sunday morning thing. NYC after party. How did I get into talking about Jane having an affair? When all we're doing is a Zwift race. It's not quite, well it's not cricket, fan 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 would tell me, it's not cricket. Right, normally when you do NYC, oh, here we go, NYC after party, the Zwift Insider normally comes up first when you say anything to do with a Zwift group, right. Oh, it's a boring route, I'm sorry, it's a boring route, what can I say, it wasn't the intention, well we're, you know, London wasn't the most interesting, but what we got here, we got, I think we go, oh, I don't know, it's just so complicated. It's 37 kilometers, and we seem to go around New York Central Park. I'm not sure if we go around the outside of it or the inside of it. I mean, it's just like a spaghetti. Um, but it does seem to end, sorry, let me just, oh, it does seem to end with a climb. And I know the climbs in New York are horrid. The New York Com, 1.4 kilometers. I, I think, am I right in saying the New York Com is on that blue? I'm pretty sure I am. Is anybody watching this? Is anybody watching this? <laughs> it may have been a good move. All of a sudden, tons of, uh, sorry, I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, am I still jerky? As it were, well, not jerky, you know what I mean. Is, is my, is my um, because I've just suddenly seen 10 messages from the live chat pop up. I thought I was literally on my own. I thought I was ad-libbing. The level of concern was high. So very good morning to you. B to the P to the M. The clock change got you all. Yeah, I mean, didn't get me because I had Jane who hasn't left me, I promise. Uh, set me on the right track. The food ads, oh, sorry Martin, I did mean to turn them off. John, very nice to see you, thank you for joining. I'm still here, and you're glued, well thank you. Gaz, that's too kind of you. Top of the Cat, I did a small simulation, you may have seen Top Cat of the Fred Witten that will confront us so shortly, sir. It's freezing outside, are you heading outside? Oh nice, TC. Philip Graham, are you, are you amongst us on this one or are you already done for the day? Where are you gonna drop me if you are? Good to see you. Dominican. hello sir, nice to see you. Always with me, that's very nice of you. No, the glass thing in New York isn't my favorite, albeit riding in Central Park in New York is on another level, it's incredible. Constantly rolling, ending on an awful hill. Ah, dear me. So if we give credits for the Fred Whitting, I mean on the upside. Lee Dixon, how are you, happy Easter. All good. Just put my foot down and go, Gareth. Well, that is wise words. Wise words. You're outside today, beautiful. Get a zone two in the sunshine. It's not sunny here. It's overcast. It feels a bit Flandrian. Matt, how are you, sir? Oh, Pig Major. I think it's called Pig Major, actually, rather than Puig. Pig Major was, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a to, to be honest, I really love that climb. It's on a par at least with Sacalobra. Stay, save my energy, stay off the front. Yeah, Rob, there's a one small problem with that. To stay even in the front group will kill me. I took my previous Fred Witten top cat and I created a training session with all the right power variations. Look in my Strava and you will see a training plan of beauty. Hey Olga, very good morning to you, happy Easter. Yeah, 100 miles and then hit the radio tower. Yeah, that's pretty much, 
It, it does replicate that. I do, I do a three hour training ride finishing on rhinos. But we have um, Kirkstone, Tempo with Surges, Honister, VO2 Max into high VO2 Max for me, Newlands, um, FTP into VO2 Max, into FTP, into recovery, into VO2 Max, into FTP, into VO2 Max. There you go. Getting all the gradients right. And on my um, Pro, I can turn up the magnetic change to simulate the hills at will. It's almost better than Zwift. And then, you, uh, then wind ladder at threshold, and then 20 minutes before we hit hard knot, threshold into VO2, high VO2, into threshold, into high VO2, into threshold, tempo, then anaerobic, threshold, anaerobic, taper down. I tell you what, have a look at it, Top Cat. You will, you will love it. Ah, John, nice to see you. And how is Mrs. Miller? Is she good? Is Helen right? Yeah, I'm going to get there for real practice. I'm reckoning, Top Cat, I'm going to aim at um, the weekend after February the 14th, 13th. Or actually, but let's go to the, let's go to the race. Let's not tempt fate. Weekend after the 13th or 14th, um, or the one after that. Barraquita Completa. They are incredible, aren't they? Barraquita Completa. To replicate the different lava stages of T-Day. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. They are. That is the good life. <laughs> very good, Rob, very good. Right, time to don the glasses. <coughs> right. I will put my big fan on in a second. And as I was saying to everybody, I've got a secret weapon today. Check it out. Marks and Spencer's jammy ice buns. There we go. I need the loo as well. I can't go to the loo now. What's going on? Oh, dear me. Oh, God. So it's undulating hell, followed by hell at the end. I think it's 37 kilometers. Let me just double check the, the length and at what time the climb, the climb comes. Yeah, the climb will be coming at about, well, there's two climbs by the look of it. Five, yeah, I'd say with about five kilometers to go. So about 31, 32 kilometers to climb start. There we go, that's a good reconnaissance. That's pretty much up there with most of my Zwift reconnaissance. Hence, I get dropped a lot. Oh. Now, Ian Carson, he correctly said, time to drop to the bees, Phil, you'll have a better race. And I kind of agree. I'm very glad to hear that, John. You're both well, good. And of course, it's late summer in Australia, or is it mid-summer, mid or late? One of the two. So I'm hoping you're enjoying a nice patio pounder glass of rosé on the veranda. May, or maybe a nice ice cold lemonade, just like grandma made. Hey Laura, I hope you're well, I hope you're well. I've been really liking your Instagram posts with all of the embroidery, it's looking really spectacular. Is that autumn is it, found, found, found? All oh, right, I thought we were late summer. There we go, my apologies. Well, in your autumn I'd still be having a nice patio pounder, a glass of rosé, isn't it like that, you know. Jane is well, thank you. Yeah, she hasn't left me, Rob. Oh, come on, Philip. Oh, why am I doing this? Why? I feel, I actually, I do feel quite tired. I know, it's, I'm, not, I'm getting my excuses in, but that Fred Witten simulation absolutely destroyed me. And you'll leave all week, very nice. So you're getting in your passions. That's the thing, isn't it? And you'll leave. We get to do what we want, or well, more or less. Ish. We get to do a bit of what we want. Right. I'm not sure how this is going to go. 
By the power of Flanders, I command you, Philip, to try and stay in the group. For the... um, it's one of the definitely found, found, found. I think that and the Dragon Ride will probably be the two biggest, the most prestigious. I loved the, the organisation. You actually have some closed off roads in the Fred. I'm not sure if you're doing the Dragon Ride. But you don't, you don't on the UK sportives, even the road racing, they don't close the roads. So that's why it's amazing to go onto the continent. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Let's get the power. Morning, Michael. How are you? Oh, a bit too early. Jump the gun. Oh, civilised start. That means it's going to become very horrible quite quickly. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to spoil a civilised start. Look at this. It's like we're going out regally, waving to the crowds. Walty. Some people are going to wipe the smile off my face in a second. Look at this, Rob. Look at this. Stately. This is where someone would attack. Over the top of this hill, carrying speed through the bunch. Look at this, MGMT, it is time to pretend that I'm a boss of cycling. Musical reference fuel there. As always, working with the Favero Asiomas and 100% trainer difficulty because but a stride of Yankee I ran out of gears and even with a 34 on the back of the video I'll be running out of gears in the lakes yeah yeah nice steady ramp isn't it Time to give a ride on even. That wasn't me. I don't have one of those watt bombs. No, Lee's not doing it this year. But Top Cat is, not that I'll be doing it with Top Cat, I'll be doing it in his dust. Hoping to wreck it with Lee though. He did it in six hours, six minutes uh, last year, and he looked withered at the end. We did it together because I had a long stop after I am um, nearly got hypothermia. Seven, seven, uh, 7.45 I think it was. I don't think I've ever had a Zwift start like this. It means it's going to become disgusting. I hate it when in the crit it starts like this because all of a sudden it just goes batshit mad. Has anyone been watching Alex Dowsett's videos? They're really cool. He did one on how to corner and he did one on a road race 
about how to carry speed into the corner. Sorry, one in a road race, showing all the different ways of cornering, the pros and cons regarding carrying speed, gaining places, and having to surge out the back. Yeah, nice one, Matt. It's brilliant, isn't it? And then he did one on the um, race itself, breaking down what he did well and badly. It was, uh, it was sensational. A couple of ten percent ramps. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's starting to. Let me just concentrate. Do you? She's very big in the sports PR and marketing world, I think. Is that why you follow her? Get this chair just to warm up the glutes and the hamstrings. <coughs> so I think we're going north up towards Harlem here. Oh, she's good, is she? What's the channel called? Agnes, if you're watching or you do watch, wishing you very best of luck in your final, hopefully final, lighter stage of chemotherapy. Sending our love. Vice Club, ah. So it's a sporting one, is it? Is she a cyclist? as well. I've got a runny nose. Not very pleasant, sorry. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? What's the average power here? Two eighteen. Um, same as always, found, found, found. Bit of deadlifting, pull ups, low incline bench, plank, and occasionally some dips. And some single leg deadlifts too. I haven't done so many deadlifts recently. I try and only do it once a week, long before I have a race. Oh, a total amateur did full hour Ironman, wow. Self depreciate, yeah, it's always attractive in any man, person, human being. Oh, not sure where we're going now. Oh, maybe I are going to that climb. No, we're not.
Um, it was not a Sunday spin, Rob, because I kind of know that it's going to get nasty. It's actually the perfect pace. You know, having had a full rest day yesterday, well, I did a bit of weights, only upper body. I've had three full rest days this week so far. So you're stringing out now. Better invest some power. I'm hoping this works for me because I tend to be better with a long warm up. And I didn't do a very good warm up earlier. So this could actually work in my favour. Yeah, I mean, this is feeling too good. I'm sorry, it's a little boring. Oh, there's the hell of the blue roads up above. I think that's where we turn in for them. Or we come out, I'm not sure. Ages since I rode this. MGMT, it's time to pretend I am the boss. What I don't want now is just to get dropped with the first surge. Because then I look like a right plonker. But that isn't out of the question. No, I haven't really looked into it for a half hour. I don't like anything that tells me I'm not sleeping well enough or it creates a, a cycle of worry. An echo chamber. Well, that brought the heart rate up. Oh, sorry. I was getting it mixed up with the other one. Uh, no, I haven't heard about that one. <laughs> Tell us about it.
cheating as in how cheating? Let me come into the climb. This is Harlem. It's all okay in terms of this. Everyone able to watch the audio okay? How does it cheat? Um, how does it please the cheats? Fan, fan, fan. That was a question. If Phil Graham was in this, he would be destroying it. Okay, sorry about the stream quality. Oh, we're not in Harlem, I've got no idea where we are. I thought we'd go, oh, I've got no idea where we're going. Cheers. Proper hot.
Yeah, I don't think the Yankee either. Cheers, Marty. Drop back here, Martin. Like in a mess. How many times are we going to do this? That's proper boring. <coughs> the energy people are going to have Best draft full back, okay, that's interesting, thank you. Yeah, two twenty eight was. Yeah, the pace is gradually ramping.
Turn your stomach in. I think I'm being flattered. It's almost like there's a handicap engaged in the race. I'm learning what it's like to swift when you actually have big watts. <laughs> Very good guess. That is Blackadder, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, to have his power would be lovely. Yeah, more or less, Michael. Uh, save your lower peak heart rate. I'm not feeling so good now. Uh-oh. <coughs> 
what is your favourite running shoe, Michael? You can, you can return them. Wow. <clears throat> After you've used them. Not in my shop. Oh, not again. This is just crazy. Is there carbon? There is carbon plates, wow. Ah. Oh, I'm getting a bit hot. <clears throat> What's the power now? Two twenty nine, about the same. That's superstar for me. Old school. Not very good for running, Right now it's getting hard. Oh, 
Oh, not again. Really? <laughs> Dear John, 150. Oh, won't be long now. Thank you for staying up. Sacalabra. Beautiful, Peter. Beautiful. The family won't mind you getting up early to do that. What's an HM? What is an HM? Tell me. Half marathon. Half marathon, there we go, yeah. Nice one, Peter. Congratulations, sir. I forgot we were talking running. Oh, oh running shoes.
Thank you, Robert. Oh, I feel shattered. Cheers, Michael. Thanks for joining. I think it does, Peter.
Yep, power ramping up, 236. Oh, nice one, Peter. Nice, sir. Uh, that is a pro tip. Where did he go? Well, he wrote, good to it, thank you. It's ramped up, doesn't it? in the big green wax isn't it?
I want a baseball cap. Dear me. <coughs> yeah. Oh dear. Wait a second. Oh dear. I'm in the wrong gear. What am I doing? Oh god, not now. Let me see it's going to save. Oh cheers GT! How are you? How's Lisa? Happy Easter. Dear me. Oh god. Here, I'll show you my uh I'll show you my Fred Witten, my mini Fred Witten. I'm so proud of it. I use this function a lot to build my own training programs. Well, not, tra not training programs, training sessions. So we had a custom. This one's quite good, hard start FTP. You go in with a bit, 90 seconds VO2 max into six and a half. Seven minutes threshold. Here's my mini Fred. Look at this. So here you have, I set this up Kirkstone, and you can see where well, it was meant to be four minutes 30. I accidentally did 455 of 220, but six little surges, because it's quite, Kirkstone is quite rampy. So six little surges into VOT max. Then we get a 20 minute, well, a little descent, five minutes, still turning the pedals, a little descent, sorry, 20 minutes of flat, or it isn't flat, you actually come into a climb. A little easing off ahead of Honister just to charge the energy systems. Then we got VO2 max into anaerobic, into threshold, that's horrid. Then a quick descent before we hit straight into five minutes flat, it's a lot longer in reality. And then Noonan's threshold, high threshold that is. Um, then I think it's a minute of VO2 max, minute of recovery, this is a slight downhill. And then a, a minute of VO2 max, then back to threshold, and then a nice little steep end requiring a bit more VO2 max, another 300 watts I think that was, yeah. Then, 10 minutes descent, it's a long descent to win that, it takes much longer than that. 14 minutes, 260, another descent, much longer in reality, then a lot longer, and quite a few intermediate climbs. Conister, I think it is, or I can't, Coniston, I'm not sure. Um, before we hit hard knot. Nice and easy into hard knot. Then we ramp the power, staying in the saddle. A minute of 270, steep ramp, requires two minutes of 316, then easing off but still steep, a minute of 270, then the cruising section, 10% feels like it's flat. I've done this yesterday, uh, Friday, Graham uh, and Rob, it, it does hurt. Then all hell breaks loose for the steepest section of hard knot, a minute of 350, a minute of 270, another minute of 350, and then we taper down from 350 hold it as high as possible to the top. Probably about 10 minutes to get to the bottom of uh, rhinos in reality. And then just ramping. And I stopped it here. So you kind of, a minute 30, you, get, you do uh, five minutes, 240, low threshold, because you're absolutely destroyed by hard knot. But then it gets real steep. So a minute 30, 290, and then a minute 350 to crest. And once you've crested rhinos, you're done. Albeit, you do have the reverse side of Bleetan, 
and then much more than 15 minutes to drift in. But I stopped it at Rhino's yesterday, but I'm well proud of that. And you can, um, you can edit it and change the powers, all this kind of stuff. It's super easy, you just drag and drop and all this kind of thing. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, no, no, cancel. I'll oh, just save. Do not lose the workout. And of course, on top of my, uh, um, my Fred Witten and my hard starts, as you would expect, as a race simulation there where you have a really hard start, lots of VOT max and then tempo with surges. The vanilla, the all time favorite, tempo with 10 times 60 second high VOT max surges. But I'm now graduating on to tempo with 10 times 90 second surges. Albeit 90 second surges are, at, they're meant to be at 3.15 but I'm only at about 3.03 at the moment on average. So I definitely recommend um, figuring out what your Grand Fondo Sportif, that kind of stuff is and hit that. Um, here's what I'm working with today. You can see the power source, the Favero SEMers, because that's what I use in real life. Um, I've got a kicker bike for resistance and controls. And then in terms of the settings, where's the settings? I think this is settings, isn't it? Settings, 100% trainer difficulty for the real life gains. Ah, Ben, Ben of the Titanium, how are you, sir? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was really chuffed with it. I've got to be honest, I was really, really chuffed with it. I'll show you my, oh, I don't know if I can show the graph now. I can't show the graph. Ah, oh, so go to the volcano circuit. Oh. Yeah, I made it up myself, Graham, cheers. Yeah. yeah, it was a very rocky start. Um, I'm really happy with that. Uh, let me just turn my fan down a bit. Yeah, I was really happy with that today. Um, because it started off nice and easy. And I thought, oh, I know if it starts nice and easy, I've got a very high chance of getting dropped early at the first surge. But to stay with it to the end, obviously one guy came off the front, but I think I got second or third. Right to the shops to get ice cream. You're building that workout now. Is it still hot? Because found, found, found told me that it's actually now already autumn in Australia. I, saw, I also watched a really good video on the Chris Miller cycling channel. It was, um, I think, I, I called Point Peak or something like that. He did a Grand Fondo, but a really nasty one. 40 degree heat for about, I think it was 200 kilometers and a good 4,000 meters of elevation. And the profile didn't look as nasty as many in Europe, but then you hear, you're basically in 40 degree heat for most of it, including what they call the frying pan section, which is 100 kilometers flat in between the two big climbs. But it does a really nice breakdown of it in terms of what he ate, his strategy, all this kind of stuff. But I won't do a spoiler, but other than he does better than he planned. But it actually gives a really nice insight into that, and Chris is like a, a very high quality masters racer, like elite masters. It gives a very good insight into how he approached the nutrition, the pacing and all that kind of stuff and how some of it went out the window. For example, he went full gas at the start, um, but how he managed to hold it together. Um, and definitely really worth a watch if you've got a big event coming up. But my top tip for an event is um, obviously the eating. You've got to practice the eating. The more you eat for a good breakfast, lots of sugar and carbs and all that kind of stuff before. Um, and then during, stay on top of it, carbs in the bottles, two bottles, 80 grams of carbs per bottle, electrolytes, big bottles, and then some solid foods and a few gels, quite a few gels. Um, and make use of one of the stops at least, you know, for a Coca-Cola or something like that. Um, definitely, it's the eating and seeing if you can do a recce. Um, 
It's cooling down. Well, you pulled your back last week. Oh my, and you blame the car, what was it, a mere 25? Marco, yeah, I heard this. I heard that he, um, so again, controversy, because it's a Grand Fondo, I think the guy that won it and smashed the all-time record, he had various different riders out on the track giving him, obviously, toes, but also bottles. Um, I don't know if that's... They weren't in the race. They didn't start from the very beginning. They kind of bled in at different sections. Hot days are great if you're acclimatised. Ah, free speed. Right, got you. But... How long does it take to acclimatise? Because I, I reckon Paul Hambler, we, we spoke of him earlier, he, never knownly without carbohydrate, but also loves the heat. It takes me a bit of time to acclimatise to it. <coughs> More than a week, I'd have said. Because I, I bet, I guess, because the blood thins as well, it helps you cool. But you've got to get also on top of the, um, the hydration, because you're still going to sweat, right? O'Brien of Aero fame, is that, is that a YouTube channel? Five boxes of ice creams. I, I saw something, I can't remember which channel it was, but they were saying some of the um, top riders are wearing like a, a wrist that has a cooling device in it to keep the, uh, the temperature down. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I suppose keeping the temperature down. He, oh, he won it, did he? Okay, maybe I've got it wrong in that case. My apologies. I don't know much about the Australian cycling scene, but I would love to get out there, meet up with Ben of the Titanium, and try one of these events. I have to wait until I'm, I've got enough time, enough time to take three weeks off work. Keep your jersey wet and it keeps you cool. Ah, oh, that's an Australian pro tip. Thus far, I've never had it really hot other than um, Tenerife out on the bike. I've had it rainy, God, I've had rainy. I was saying at the very start of this video, very well done to anybody who completed the Tour of Flanders Sportive on um, you know, yesterday. It rained the entire day. It rained the entire day and was windy when I did it last year. But it is miserable, it really is attritional. I saw one guy, I forget the name of the individual on Strava, and he'd, had, he'd done a full 220, and he'd had two punctures and a broken chain, and it had not stopped raining the whole time. You'd definitely be able to smash me to pieces, Titanium. You're driving, are you, Michael? Where are you off to? Anywhere nice? You can't type. Don't type. Don't type and drive. Don't. Don't. Bike racing without mercy. It does not want a liability for that. Oh. You got me through the Bluetooth. Nice. That's skills. That's driving skills. What car have you got there, Michael? Don't type. Please don't type. So Ben, well, where's your fitness then? If, you th if you're worried about keeping up with me, that's concerning. I mean, I know you've hurt your back a little bit, but no one should be worried about keeping up with me. The fairies are with me now. That was a hard end, that. I forgot to get up the, the oh, actually, let me call up the power data. I can, can, I, can I have it on my, um, uh, what's it called, the uh, training piece. I'll tell you what the normalised was. That's why I did it. I, I thought, I wondered to myself, why did I stop the ride? But, if we go to the map graph, Go. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't quite manage it. There we go, there we go. Yeah, so it wasn't amazing. The average 250, 239 watts average. Not that you can see any of that. 256 normalised. But what I'd look for when I'm doing any kind of crit race, this kind of thing, I like to go to the, um, the workout peaks and see how much time I spent in the different zones. Now in a crit race, see this here, 
the crit race, you have a lot in zone one and then a lot in zone five and zone six. Not much threshold and tempo. Unless you get dropped, then it turns into a TT. Well, obviously I've had many of those. But this is pretty good because I've got 10 minutes and more than 318 watts, which is proper hard for me. And um, I've got another six minutes over 276, which is my VO2 max. So that's 16 minutes hard. But when I go to Zwift, because then you, go to, you can go into the activities on Zwift. Where was it gone? Um, activities. I like doing this as well. Uh, I know, I know I've been riding a long time and I should have been doing spray ages, but you've got the same but with more increments. And so I can have a look now at what I did over 300. So it's th four minutes over 300, and the four minutes 300, so four minutes 300 to 325, another four minutes 325 to 350, so that's eight minutes 15, two minutes 350 to 375, so that's 10 minutes 15, 11 minutes 375 to 400. 11, uh, 30 seconds, so that's 11.30, 30, 30 seconds, 400, 425, and then about another 30 seconds above 425. So it's about 12 and a half minutes over 300. And that's all right. I mean, that's, that's good, because basically what that's telling me is I've had a nice interval session with obviously intervals that I've got no control over. Ah, uh, the trips to China, yeah. Did you get um, illness in China as well, Ben? 10 to 12 hours a week to some naught weeks. Yeah. Every so often I have like a 10 or a 12 hour week. The, the week of the Grand Fondo Strada Bianchi, because you do the five hour ride, or oh, I did four, and actually it wasn't five hours. I did four, four hours 20 I think it was. Um, anyway, yeah, four hours, four hours twenty, I think, or maybe four forty. No, four forty it was. I actually got a twelve-hour week in and a thousand TSS. A lung infection in Australia. Have you been, have you been able to shift it? Oh, what what paperwork are we talking about here, Rob? Yeah, I mean, that was the mistake I made, Ben. Um, I got a nasty chest infection in December 22. Came back too early. Got another nasty infection, much worse, in January. And then I came down again in, um, in March. Just about got back for the Hort route in um, late May, early June. Right at the end of the Hort route, got it again, more mildly this time. And then um, had a decent little run all the way to September, uh, to, to October. And then after the uh, middle of October, going quite nicely in the crit racing, got it again. Um, and so I'm really focusing on the, the recovery. So after a hard day, I will take either a full day off or something much easier just to let the, um, the immune system rebuild and I'll always have a every three weeks, a couple of days off in a row and then another day off. Um, and then every so often work, family, etc., makes you take a week off, etc. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad um, my experience was of help. It's so easy to fall into the trap um, when trying to maintain fitness, sort of saying, no, I'm, I'm all right, I'm all right, I can get the bike, you can do a bit of zone two or something, so the next day you do a bit of tempo. And you're kind of coughing before, coughing after, but during it you're okay. You're thinking, oh, this is all right. But in reality, what's happening is you're keeping that immune system suppressed. You're taking longer to recover. And you're coming back too early and you keep dipping into the well and the bogeyman gets you again and again and again. Thing is, I went a little bit mad after the crash because I wanted to come back. We did the stupidity of a Hort route Switzerland with a Hort route Davos wearing a back brace. I mean, how deluded do you have to be to do a Hort route with a broken, well, fractured back still? And then um, I was actually building back really nice after that with a tempo with surges, but just did it too hard too often. And um, 
Yeah, crashed and burned. It is the, it's the immune system. I think certainly as you get older, you just got to pay attention to it. Like traveling, I think it was really good that we went out for the um, Strada Bianchi, but I had a, you know five days of just touring Rome, or four days of touring Rome, another day in Florence, and then did a bike ride or two. Oh. Um, so this weekend, I'm gonna uh, start the edit for what I'm gonna call, I think, Beautiful Italian Chaos. It is, of course, a Strada Bianchi video, I promise you. And I'll break it out for the full 10 minutes, and uh, you know, not the main video, but a different video, to show you just how, well, not even 10 minutes, probably the first 20 minutes, is just barking mad. Barking chaos, batshit mad. It is, I got it all on film this time. I didn't manage to get it last time, a battery stopped. But I'll break it out and you will see why the Grand Fondo Strada Bianchi is the best and the maddest of all the Grand Fondos, bar none. That and Trey Valley Veracine are my two favourite events uh, of all time. Over and above everything else, Marmot, um, Flanders, Fred Witten, um, what else have I done? I've done quite a few. Oh, I need to look at my thing. Where else have I done? I've done loads of events. All the Hort routes. Um, I don't have events. I can't remember what they are. Anyway, it's good. I'm talking to myself now. Am I, is, this, is YouTube still going here? Is it actually still going? Let me see if my YouTube's still going. Am I talking to myself? I'm not sure. Normally the live chat's punchy. It's 27 says it's watching. Yes, 27 are you still watching? That's really nice. I appreciate that on a, on a Sunday. It's still here, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Rob. It's still all here, I appreciate it. Well, all 27, that's nice. We're sharing Easter Sunday. And as always, I don't think you're watching Scott from Comhan TV, from KOM Rides, from Behind the Com, and most importantly, the Zwift, the, the one and only. We hope to see you back, Scott. We know, well, we say we know. You, Scott's now in a hospice and he's having progress on the therapy for speech and also movement. We do look forward to seeing you back. I hope you're making. I'm not sure if you're making, but I get. I hope you're making some kind of a record of it because it'll be an incredible um, recovery back, and I'm sure it will be. But uh, sending the love to Scott and Natalie and the family, Jenny. Um, best of luck, sir. And Agnes, I know you're starting your final week of chemotherapy shortly. Hopefully final, not final week, final course of chemotherapy. I know it's the lighter. But Agnes, if you're watching, best of luck. Yeah, unfortunately, Rob, um, Scott had a stroke. He had um, a clot on the lung um, during the pandemic and that was dealt with. But then um, about four weeks ago, he had a stroke and um, has been in hospital um, very seriously ill with it doesn't have his speech. Um, he's laughing, smiling, seeing friends. He's working hard on the speech therapy and his movement, but he's got, um, he's got a good, long, hard road back, but he's a strong lad, Scott. Hope he makes it to a full recovery. That'd be a good Easter gift. Anyway, look, um, on that note, a positive note, Wishing Scott the best. Agnes strength for her final, hopefully final, uh, chemo. Yeah, absolutely, Rob, thank you. Thank you, sir. I hope you all have a lovely Easter break with your families. I look forward to seeing you all for a live stream, I'm guessing next weekend. I might do a race outside in, in real life, depends if my daughter's coming to visit or not, I hope she is. But in the meantime, whoever you are, Whatever you do, thank you very much for joining. 
Please remember to live, thrive, stay super healthy and have a little fun this weekend. Take care.